recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. The recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Who troubling me? Two thirds of the very own people troubling. Two thirds of the very own people troubling we. Esau so troubling me. Moab troubling me. You gotta come in all the country and when you're going to freaking grocery you're watching yourself. And always marking your following you. Like you're some friggin' teeth. You understand? That's how they operate operated. One night, second floor. I mean, these are numbers 35 and verse 33. He says, So, he says, So ye shall not pollute the land where ye are. He says, For blood defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Yes, sir. we saw blood out of the shed. Because the shed blood of, of, of people on that side, on the land. By number 35 and 35. Shed, shed, shed with blood. The forefathers' blood been shed with stripes. You understand? The forefathers' blood been shed by hangings, by lynchings, by beatings. You know, all kind of manner of evils, beheadings, they shed with blood. So the only how to clear that law, the only how to cleanse that blood shed from off the land, the person who shed the blood, his blood had to be shed. Big man, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? What do you know what that is? That's why your honest opinion on this side, what do you think about it? You know what I mean? The blood that shed. You know what I mean? I hear, I hear the man that, that shed I hear that, that blood. I hear that already. I hear people say that now. Yeah. 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 That is a that, that righteous recompense. But that is not unjust thing. How are we going, how are we, how are we going about doing that? No, well, we just can't do that just so. Because that is the most I will say judgment. And all the earth. You know what I mean? And revenge is, it belongs to him. But all we have to do right now is practice righteous act or righteousness. You know what I mean? Because the same set people, within the scripture, the same set people who actually face the torment and torture might be the same set people who might come back and who coming back, matter of fact, to bring judgment and righteousness. What the holy law and the statutes and the commandments are, Yahweh Bashem Nation. It's according to the law. You know what I mean? And it's a, Plenty of things that a man should do to receive salvation. But it's actually never feel that you know he's a righteous thing because written in the scriptures, wow, well, wow, well, to 20 me, um, 28 and um, you could read from from um, read from 50 because with a curse really put upon us too. You know what I mean? Because you see, I told you, you know, the other nations will have a proper hand and return our boy. You know, I died, I died, upon me because you know what. We, we sin against the Hawaii Bashan Yoshai, which is the creator of all things. So the question is, why black people always have to be going through this? Why can't be the white man? Why can't be Chinese? Why can't be the Indian? Why can't be we down here? Why can't be the streets of Why can't be always growing up as a white man here? And it will always to assure what that. Because when they look at the side of the street, face the side of the side of the street, the Negroes, the, Latin, the Latinos, and the Native Indians, and then who own all the businesses, the big businesses, the so called white man. You know what I mean? So things must change. Things are to change. You know all things are changing? Yeah, for the better. Well, right, well, you go see how you go change for the better. But for now, we have to know why we're in this position here. And how we have to come outside. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? 28 and verse 15. So you can run me. Curse upon me. But the 28 verse 15. Yeah, come on. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken, Unto the voice of your heart, thy power. The, the voice? Because even when you read them proverbs, somebody could get it in proverbs, you say if he, um, so in proverbs, I'm going to get part of it in proverbs. I got that, read that. It's a lucky. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of your heart, thy power. Proverbs 1 verse 4. Okay, go ahead. To observe to do all his commandments. To do all his what? To do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. You know what I mean? He is giving laws, statutes, and commandments to guide the body. So, you know what I mean? To govern the body. 
to know is right from where is wrong. You won't go and have sex with an animal because you know within yourself. It is, I have a conscience. When I am mad thing, but you understand what I'm saying? You won't just go and kill it, but I just so. You got a mad vibes. Okay, your conscience goes near you too. Who am I? For verse 4 and verse 4. So you we're supposed to attend to the Lord now, boy. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 4. 4 verse 4. four. Yeah, go ahead. Proverbs 4 verse 4. Mm -hmm. um, it says, He taught me also and said unto me, uh -huh. Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments keep and live. Keep his what? Keep his what? Commandments and live. Keep his commandments and what? Live. His commandments and live. Go ahead. It says, Get wisdom, get understanding. Get what? Get wisdom, get uh -huh. understanding. And get understanding. If a man understands this time, the time we live in right now, no time to be playing around. We are near bloodline, near root, we are culture, where we come from, to know where we are going. You know what I mean? It's not no nigga, it's not no chill daddy, it's not no wet back. No where we come from, we are bloodline. There was some way Sparrow saying, saying, they actually take it out of the school books. Sing um, I am a slave for my land so far. He didn't sing that I guess. Because he know really and truly all over the world. They know us as slaves, Negroes, wet backs. They know us as that. Now I mean go back into Tony Tony and was was um fifteen. I go to all take me to the show that the record of slavery in the Bible. I mean, go ahead. It says, If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, yeah, go ahead. and all these curses shall come upon thee. See, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee mm -hmm. and overtake thee. Yeah, go ahead. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the what? In the city. Yeah, because even when you're watching New York right now as he speaks, he goes again, lock up again, gun down. Like, like curses. The Chinese and then they're not even dealing with the Chinese, so. And the Chinese raping New York right now. Right as he speaks right now here in Trinidad. When last he had Chinese dead by. When last he had um, a so called um, East Indian dead. When I look at news of victim 15, it's the really Negroes, your own brother, your own sister. You see him dying real young. You see him dying 15 years, 13. Some of the babies in hospital. And the Chinese and them, they making babies here. You understand? But how are they not dying? Why? I mean, that, that question man had to put, man had to start to ask yourself, why? You understand? Brother. Says, curse shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and curse shall thou be in the field. So curse shall thou be in the field. Go ahead. Curse shall be thy basket and thy storehouse. Yeah, because storehouse. Curse shall be thy basket and thy what? Thy store. Somebody get her guy. One of those six. Curse shall be a basket and a store because when I check it out, I know you be working. You can't save no kind of money in a lifetime to, to build up something like KFC. You can't sell enough money in a lifetime to, to have a franchise like Mario's. You know what I mean? Not even a lifetime. Your children, 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 children. You can't even do that. Because you know what? They actually put a wage to their labor. $16 an hour. $17 an hour. The same people who are in captivity put a wage to their labor. They say you must work for $17 an hour. Go work and work no more than that. That's what they're trying to tell you. You know what I mean? What else? I got one of those. I got a chapter one verse. 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 I'll start from five. Yeah, come on. It says, Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. consider your ways. Consider your what? Your ways. Come on. You have sown much. You have sown what? Much. Yeah, because you go and work eight hours a day with the same white man. Some work 50. Some work overtime, double time, triple time, and they can never in a lifetime own businesses. Like this is sad reality. Go ahead. And bring in little. Bring in what? Little. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a higher propeller again to come back again for that money. 
They still come back again. There's enough to feed it for one week to come back the next week. Go ahead. He says, he eat, but he have not enough. Yeah, eat and you realize how they can't fill the house, they can't go and open the fridge and see. Those sit a lamb and fish like what you want to, grapes, apples. You understand? Go ahead. He says, you drink, but you are not filled with drink. Yeah, come on. He clothed you, but there is not warm. Uh -huh. And he that earned wages. He that earned what? Wages. Come on. Earned wages to put it into a bag with holes. To put it in a what? A bag with holes. Yeah, your bank account is a bag with holes. Your, your cash fund is a bag with holes. Because by the time you put money to start to save, there's some shit always happening. So the curse. You know what I mean? As, as they start to save some money, they say, all right, I get you. I'm going to do this. Problems, because you know what? Curse is upon you. Go back into 28. Go share more. Share more. You tell me 28 and read from, um, read from, read from 37 now. Huh? And somebody get Job 30, 30 and verse 9. Yeah, go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb. A pro what? A proverb. A proverb. Isn't that a proverb? A virgin? A proverb. Yeah, a proverb means like a, like a slang or a say. You know what I mean? Thou shalt be a proverb and a what? It says, Thou shalt be an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a byword. And a what? And a byword. A byword like nigga. They know anyway, Chinese and all, they can't speak English properly. Nigga, nigga, look at nigga, the king is tall, look at nigga, nigga, nigga. The, the so called is saying, nigga, 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 nigga. The white man, nigga, nigga, nigga. You understand? A byword. What Job? Job chapter 10, verse 9. Job chapter 10. Just show you the exact curses fit the, the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Indians to this very day. Go ahead. Job chapter 10, verse 9. Yeah, come on. And now I am I their song. They are, yeah. they are the what? It says, and now am I their song. The song. Because you know what? They have a song called Run nigga 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 run 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 nigga. If you ever watch the show called 12 Years a Slave, they didn't make that movie by guess. I'm a star. You know what I mean? They didn't make that movie by guess neither. You hear people have to be watching. You can't be watching Spongebob and Patrick right too. Yeah, like what shows actually what went on, history what went on, we to know where we from, my people are so lost, they didn't have an idea, they didn't have a clue, they didn't have a clue, when you ask them what is the idea, they didn't know what they say, like that the proud to be a chin to the bone, and Christopher Columbus never even called himself Trinidadian, never even called himself a chin, he just renamed this master in land one, Trinidad, and that is the education system we're in right now. Because the teacher here, they, they, the cat and the fell and a cow jump over a moon and this one away to a spoon and all this is that madness, the bow out of the mind. You don't even know where it's wrong from right again. You know what I mean? The little children are going to school and learn. Hey, the, the, the cat and a fell and a cow jump over a moon. Make up on the show and make sense. You know what I mean? But no. That is slavery, boy. It have a book called The Winnie Lynch Letter. The Winnie Lynch Letter, they actually show you when they read the book. They say in order to, to enslave a mind, and they use it well and weird, they say it must make that slave and even have an idea or a clue he's a slave. Make him feel that he's free. So, so the best slave is one that don't know he's a slave? Oh yeah, the best slave is the one that don't know he's a slave. Make him feel like, you know, he's free. You know what I mean? Make him feel he's free. Create HIV, AIDS, N1, bird flu, mad cow disease and still think that the, the system don't for the niggas, right? You know what I mean? And the Chinese and them ruling, the so-called white man own every single building. The banking system owned by the rough child. And make the niggas feel, you know what, yet, boy. They have, a, they, have a, they, have a, they have a big play in life. You know what I mean? They get you. They GT. You know what I mean? They go on through. Like just facts and reality. Go on through. So we jump down to 43. And we go show you more of the mystery now. Because this scripture is a mystery. Go ahead. This is verse 43 and Deuteronomy 28. Yeah, come on. It says, The stranger that is within thee. The stranger is what? That is within thee. Yeah, come on. 
shall get up above the very high.